Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial we will learn how to find the missing number for numbers up to 5 and we're going to look at subtraction questions. Now in the previous tutorial we used the number line. However this time we're not going to use the number line. Let's begin by writing down our two questions. We have 5 minus something equals 2 and the second one is something minus 3 equals 1. So those are our two examples with the missing number in different positions. Now if you see this question you can use the number line but let's suppose you don't have a pen or paper and you have to do this with mental arithmetic. What we're going to do is we're going to use the and I'll just change colors for this we're going to use the head and fingers method. Head and fingers also known as the counting method. Now if we look at the first example we have 5 minus something equals 2. Okay, 5 minus something equals 2. So what we're doing is we are starting at 5. Okay, we need to subtract, i.e. take away a number so that it equals 2. Okay, so that it equals 2. So what we're going to do is I want you to hold out your hand okay, and to begin with I want you to hold out all five fingers on one hand. Okay, so you should have all four fingers, well four fingers and a thumb sticking out at the moment. Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to close the fingers okay, twice and then we will get our answer. We can do it the other way, we can close our fingers until we leave two but let's do it this way. So you've got five at the moment. I want you to close, and I'm just going to write down here with let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So imagine those are your fingers, five. Okay, this is the best way I can show you. And what we're going to do is we are going to close two fingers. Okay, I'm just going to change colors for this. We're going to close one finger, and then we're going to close the second finger. Okay, now how many fingers? do you have sticking out at the moment? Let's count them. We've got one, two, three. So you should have three fingers sticking out at the moment. Three is the answer. Okay, now did you see how we did that? We started at number five with five fingers sticking out. Then we took back two fingers because that's what the result equals. How many are left? It is three. 5 minus 3 equals 2. Okay. Now for the second example, we're going to use the same method, but this is slightly different. Okay. Now because the missing number is at the beginning, what we're going to do is we're going to move the minus 3 over to the right hand side. Okay. So the question then becomes something equals the 1 plus 3. Now, as we've said before, if you've got minus over here, when you take it to the other side, it becomes plus. So something equals 1 plus 3. Now, this is much simpler to do. Okay. Now, for this one, you can use the head and fingers method again, or you can use the dot method, any method you prefer. What I'm going to do is use the same method over here. Okay, the head and fingers method. This time, I want you to hold out one finger, and then I want you to hold out three more. So you've got one, two, three. So how many fingers are you holding out now? Okay, you should have a total of, and let's count them, one, two, three, four. So you should have four fingers you're holding out. So 4 equals 1 plus 3. Now go back to the original question. 4 minus 3 equals 1. 
And you know that's correct. 4 minus 3 equals 1. Okay, so you can do this using the head and fingers or what is known as the counting method. Okay, so this is how we find the missing number with numbers up to 5 with subtraction questions using the head and fingers method.